I'm going to talk today about the surgical treatment of, uh, of the pancreatic cancer. Um, as Bassam just uh, pointed out, uh, it is a very, very deadly cancer, um, and surgery is really the only potential for cure that we see. Um, and the reality is only about 15 to 20 percent of the patients that we see are candidates for surgery. Actually, the vast majority of them uh, never see the surgeon. So it's really important that when we get a patient in our office, we have to find out if they, if they are candidates, uh, even if they don't appear initially, because really that's the only potential to, uh, to, to cure them. Um, but overall, this five-year survival is pretty dismal. How many people here are trainees? We have a lot of trainees here? Okay. Um, so I think a big part of what we have to figure out when we discuss pancreatic cancer is this concept of what is resectable and borderline. Um, I can tell you, so I graduated residency in 2004. Uh, I graduated residency at the Cleveland Clinic in Cleveland. We had a very busy pancreatic surgery group like we do now and I graduated with zero vein resections. So we just didn't do them back then. So a, vein a tumor invading the vein uh, when I trained, which wasn't, seems like a long time ago, which wasn't that long ago, was really considered borderline or often unresectable. So when you look at the data on what's been happening as far as how the improvement has gotten better. Yes, I, I know that we're, the medical oncologists want to take a lot of credit for the improvements in chemotherapy, but I think a lot of it also has come down to the fact that we have gotten much more aggressive surgically. So many of the patients that would have been deemed unresectable and gone on to palliative have actually gone on to uh, have, a, have a R0 resection. I was very pleased to see our results in Cleveland about the margin negative rate, even for those patients that would have been considered borderline. And I can tell you, 10 years ago, those, many of those patients would have probably been considered unresectable intraoperatively. So it does, it does make a difference. But uh, purely resectable or truly resectable, looking at the SSO and HPBA uh, guidelines, um, it's really no extension to any of the vasculature. It's really, you want to see it, and I'll show some uh, CAT scans here shortly, but really you want to see that nice fat plane. So you really don't, you, you, should, you should be able to uh, not have any doubt in your mind as far as, to, uh, as, far as the fat planes between the vessels. Um, borderline is really where it gets a little bit, um, there is some debate in, uh, amongst various surgeons. I can tell you our practice